We celebrate International Women's Month And for today's episode, tatalakayin natin kung ano nga ba ang pamantayan ng isang tunay na babae Hey Jace, my name is Paolo Hello sa mga ka-fem, this is Liz Mga Archie, my name is Mandy Lane Tara! Let them na! And for our guests today, we have Maria Tatiana Woo! Woo! Welcome! And Diamond Funky! Hey! We would like to welcome our guest, Tati. Tati is the CEO of uh, Fragrance Valley. Yes. And Diamond Fontaine is yes. the first running up of Miss... Um, the recently concluded. The recently yes. concluded. Miss... Uh, Philippines Canada Queen Pride 2022. Yes. 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 Yeah. So we want to start by saying congratulations, Diamond. Thank you. That was a great win for you. So for today's episode, kasi pag tatalakay natin ang pagiging babae, kaya mo naramdaman na babae ka talaga. As far as I can remember, siguro mga five years old, something like that. Oh, like, like kompi sa ako ano, like parang of course, magkakasya ko sa sa lalaki na kalaro ko noon. And then I realized na parang shinship ako sa ibang girls ng mm-hmm. magulang ko. Like, oh, uh, you have a crush on this girl. And I'm like, ah, no. Oh, at five. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, of course, parents, they always assume na kapag you were born male, of course, you're mm-hmm. gonna be attracted to the opposite uh, gender. Whenever I see na kapag bagad ng babae, I don't have I, I didn't have a crush on her. More like I wanna be her. Oh. You know? oh. <laughs> How about you, Maria Tatiana? Yes. Paano mo naramdaman na babae ka talaga? Kung Different babae stories. ka ba? <laughs> <laughs> Different stories naman yung sa akin. Like when I was like kasi in the Philippines kasi iba yung story ko. Sabi ko kasi noong time na yun, I don't really want to become like I, I'm a gay man. Yeah. But I don't want to become a woman. So you started as a, as a gay, gay man. man. Yeah, actually, I think don't naman lagi na siya na. Like if you are in the Philippines, pero I really hate the idea na magkakaroon ka ng like mag magkaka surgery ka, yung mga ganon. I I hate that idea because I I I even promised to myself that I will not become like that. Why is that? Because parang I find it like sobrang ano yun. Like first, it's expensive, and yeah. living in the Philippines is not that easy to have those things. The same time, like, pag kasi nagtransition, nagtransition ka from man to woman, like you get bullied all the time. Right. Like gay, gay nga, gay people nga, na bubulit na. Para paano ba yung transition ka ng babae? Pero in my in my case, in kasi, uh, like not all. I mean, sorry ha, uh, not all uh, persons that who are transitioning are given a chance to become a beautiful woman. Right. Iba. So hindi ako magiging magandang babae. Yeah. That was the time that I was in the Philippines. Yeah. So, that was so f- feeling more. Ug na lang transition if I'm not going to be a pretty woman. Yes, mm. yes, that's true. Pero uh before kasi na maglanda ako dito sa Canada, I started na mag- magpahaba ng buko kasi when I was at my work like during that time, pwede kasi mahaba ang buko. So doon nagsimula, doon nagsimula I I've tried everything like nagpahaba ako ng buko and then right. I try to pluck my eyebrows, yung mga ganyan ko. But then, I know that if I'm moving here in Canada, things will reset again. Mawawala na naman yun. Mm-hmm. So, ganun nga. Ganun nga yung nangyari. So, I need to cut my hair again to become a man. Tapos, when you moved here? When I, when I moved here. Kasi, sabi ng agency ko, you are not allowed to have a long hair when you move to Canada. Because uh-huh. the pictures that I sent to them, yeah, like, yeah, on my yeah, resume, yeah, is a man. Yeah. So, right. nung... So, sinabihan talaga ako ng agency na you are not allowed to become like yeah. to, to have those hairs and to have those makeups on and stuff like that. So, like, okay, sure, then it's fine with me kasi nga, I mean, you are moving to Canada and this yeah. is like, you know, one once in a lifetime opportunity, baka mawala pa. Just because of my hair, just because I am a, yeah. like, I'm a, you know, I'm a gay or like, I'm a, like, cross-dresser. Yeah. Yeah. So, after noon, nung natunta na ako dito, 
uh, here in Canada pa lang, you are allowed to, to become who you are. Like, pwede ka magpahaba ng pera. So, I asked the employer nung time na yun, I sabi ko, pwede ka magpahaba ng pera. Kasi gusto ko ulit i-start again. Mm-hmm. Parang experience, ano lang para, para explore na lang ulit. Ganun yeah. ba? And then, right after that, na met ko yung, I met Trish, my, mm-hmm. my, I would say she's my mentor, she's my best friend, and she's my sister. Yeah. Is she in Canada too? Yeah, she is. Nasa Pilipinas siya ngayon. Nasa Pilipinas siya ngayon. Nasa Pilipinas siya ngayon. Iba baka siya. Hi, Trish. May, may, so, may patrivia ka pa. <laughs> Kung nasa yung mga tao. So, <laughs> but when you moved to Canada, yeah. the, yung perception na, oh, I, I can be a woman if I'm pretty. Yeah. Did that change? But like, because like in in Canada in general, yeah, yeah. There, there's there's different many, the, 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 women comes in different shape, yes, right? different sizes, you know, sizes and calling. Did that did that perception change? That there's no one, uh, walang isang mold yung yes. right. being a woman. Of course, because pag uh, pag trans ka, you didn't have the luxury to live as a biological woman, de ba? So ang aim mo always kapag transgender woman ka is to always look. As possible, as feminine as oh. possible. When did you start possible, transitioning? Yeah. I started transitioning when I was 16. So I started That's some. Perfect. Yeah, it was like I was uh, grade nine in the Philippines. Self medication, by ano? May mm-hmm. pinuntan kang mga doctor. Self medication, sha. So uh, a friend of mine helped me. So she was 19. Nung magkakasi kami nung grade nine. So she has of a legal age na kumuha ng birth control. So, yung birth control kasi, may mga female hormones siya. Yeah. So, I was taking advantage of those kasi female hormone nga, diba? So, yeah. Ako may question ako, Andy. Um, is it comfortable, like, because I, uh, like, of course, like, I'm, I'm not a woman, clearly. But is it comfortable, like, for, for a trans woman to talk about yung, yung transitioning, yung, transitioning yung, 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 mm. yung process of transitioning. Is that something you're comfortable talking right. about? Mm. And with my transitioning, kasi, I, I do believe kasi na, like gi- sharing your experiences will benefit of the DAO. Like, kasi <laughs> benefit of the DAO. <laughs> it will benefit of the other everyone. Everyone. It will benefit everyone. It will benefit everyone. It will benefit everyone, I mean. I got it. <laughs> For, for my understanding and it's always good to have uh, to share your experiences with other people because they uh, they have the educations with this one and with that people are like getting I have an idea like who we are and like you know kung if we're going to or mm-hmm. yeah. g- madali ba yung transitioning yeah. or whatever Kaya nga, in, in my case this is like my point of view in this na if ever someone will ask me, which is good to ask someone, kung is it okay to ask? Pero I will answer everything to clear and to give them educations when it comes to like this. Right. And if, yes. you, if you just yeah. really want to educate yourself, you're like you're opening yeah. to answering mm-hmm. those questions. How about you, Diamond? Like, and and any ma? Because like, okay, like let me just like uh, give you a context. Because na panod kasi Cox, right? Right. Uh, mm-hmm. Like the famous. Um, the trans, uh, woman. trans woman. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she gets offended whenever she gets asked. About, about the process, the right. physical process oh, right. of transition, because she says, "You can talk. It, you it, can talk. You can ask me a lot of right. things." Right. Oh, so, 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 yeah, it's enough. It's I am a woman. Right. That's it. Yeah. Then you can ask me other things. Yeah. I you know. Agree. So, uh, is that okay? Like, what do you think? Um, in my uh, point of view, yeah, it's okay, um, because it shows uh, you growth go as a person and how I became like this, and. Um, I can say like I'm proud uh, of my struggles of being a trans woman mm-hmm. and the process of being a trans woman and uh, yeah. So it doesn't offend you? It does not offend me. Well, it depends because of course I would not uh, let any uh, kind of like strangers, just strangers to Random strangers. To Wait, when it comes to questioning, kasi, like it, it levels because eh. mm-hmm. To be honest, there's a lot of people who are curious who we are and what we are and like how right. things work in our transition. But mm-hmm. say the other people when they asked, like sometimes, I mean, they, they find it funny because of course we are trans and mm-hmm. we are like an LGBT. Mm-hmm. But then again, like for example, this question, sa, mm-hmm. 
Di ba parang it's it's, it's like so it's, They're it's, talking about your boobs. Is that yeah, real? Yeah. Yes. Is it real? Like, can I touch it? And this like, is a random person asking. Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. You know, know, there's nothing wrong to answer those questions. But then again, sometimes, kasi like I I believe that you need to ask the person first of the oh, how they feel, kasi pero you know first you are not close to this person. Why do you a hand them? <laughs> 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 I mean, minsan kasi di ba? I mean, I will handle this in the way kung kasi di ba? You felt this way na major offensive yung question. Pero ako kasi di ba? In a, in a, with my experiences kasi madami na din kasi na natatanong na ganyan, and dami na experiences na ganyan. Kung ganun yung tanong nila, I will answer in the same way the level na din na tanong nila. Paano mo siya sasagutin? Kung alin ba ang may nagtanong sa'yo? Beauty queen, right? Maaari ko right? ba siya? Oh, wow. Grace Kasi under pressure. Can I touch it? I, I, I think that's really offensive when somebody like, can I touch it? How do you handle that? Well, uh, sabi nga Especially na, you. You are a post-op. She's post-op. Yes, op. I am post-op. Oh. When we say post-op, maaari mo bang ipaliwan? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> can you actually educate us? And ba post-operation? Yung, uh, once you say na uh, a trans woman is supposed to, uh, uh, he or she have undergone a gender reassignment surgery, GRS, uh, which uh, which means na yung um, lower part mo, yung genitals mo, they rearrange it to uh, make it look like of a woman's or a man's. Oh, okay. So, so it say, goes both ways. Yeah. Right? <coughs> yeah. When did you undergo? Last year, um, end of April. How was it? How was it? How's your preparation? Preparation for it. No, I, I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I think the better question is, yes. hindi lang naman kasi the physical operation that yes. you have to prepare for. Emotionally, and, and definitely, and financially. I want to find. I want to find out. I mean, what what what's the journey leading towards that? I mean, yung, yung mga naging, what was the first step, mo? Kailangan mo muna sa mga uh, doctors like yung psychiatrist ko, yung hormone doctor ko, right. chaka yung psychologist. Um, so I need I need their paperwork. Well, at first, hindi ako hindi ko hindi ko ginusto yung hindi ko ginusto yung surgery. Right. Kasi, so yung naging turning point, but gusto mo siya ngayon. Um, gusto <laughs> ko si yun. Um. Eh, I found a partner who's comfortable of me being me or what I of what mm. I have. Oh. So I found him, and then, of course, I'm single right now. So. Oh. Nakarilita ko sa kanya. Kasi ganon din ako. The single kami. Posok din kasi ako. Akala ko dahil single ka din. Hindi posok din ang halata. Tapos. So yon. So. Uh, Nag-break kami. Well, of course, hindi naman talaga yun yung uh, sole reason kung bakit ginusto ko yung surgery. So parang yung, ano ko, yung gender dysphoria ko, uh, gender dysphoria is parang, um, you're not comfortable with what you, what you see. That's gender dysphoria. Yes. Yeah. That's what you call gender dysphoria. Yeah, actually, para nga, para ma, ma qualify ka for the surgery, they have to diagnose you gender dysphoria. Oh, right. so, so that is that is the main that, qualification. That's they, actually interesting. They uh they consider uh being uh transgender as a uh, mental illness. Right. So you're in gender, Canada. yeah. So you're in Canada to say when you are transitioning because you're not comfortable of your body and your yeah. skin. Well, so it's like, able for you to have <laughs> those medications yeah. and the process. Yeah. Oh, okay. You need uh, the the doctor need to diagnose you that you have a problem. Gender dysphoria. Like you have like a mental illness. Yeah. Mm. Mental illness meaning that we just have to clarify that because yes. when we say mental illness, meaning you're you know, like gender dysphoria, you're not you know, you're not yes. 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 Well, biologically. Uh, kung uh, kung ano, kung ano right, yes. yeah. Yeah. Kasi nga, they, every time that you will go I mean every time that the woman will transition or the man will transition to become a woman. Like it's funny because the doctor will uh, explain this to you, and you know, don't don't mind that because mm -hmm. this is just only how things work here in Alberta or in in our government, yeah. enable for you to have a free, yeah. so, yes, yes, a free uh, like uh, transitioning or like the hormonal therapy. How how did your family accepted your um, decision to transition to being a woman? That them. Um, sure. Of course. Uh, Okay naman si kina mama sa mam sa mam part ko kina mama okay naman sa kanila pero of course 
sa tatay talaga. Diba? It's always the mom that is the more like mother is more accepting. Yeah, accepting. Yeah. accepting. Yeah. Of course, ah, uh, kasi ah, uh, nung bata kasi ako, I resembled more my dad. So um I became instantly his favorite kasi yun nga pa. Ano ba ni tatay? No, no. Ilan kayo magkakapatayan? Tatlo. Mm -hmm. So uh yun uh, and then uh, it came to it came down to uh the transition yun nga na mga few months before the surgery na sabi ko. Um I got accepted parang na, to do the surgery in Montreal. What was the first ano initial reaction? Ah, uh, syempre natakot sila kasi it's a major, it's a big major surgery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's an operation. Yeah. Ah, uh, parang natakot sila na syempre it's very risky tapos mm -hmm. what would happen to me after the surgery? Ah, uh, kung magiging normal pa ba yung ah uh, pagiging pagkatao ko, yung what's down there, kung if it's still functional and everything. Mm -hmm. So, yun like night before that Kinakausap ako ng tatay ko, sabi niya, do you really wanna do this? Yeah. Sabi ko, eh bakit kinakausap ako ng, ng ganito, ng, sa ganito oras kung <laughs> kailan, nilipad na ako ng Montreal uh, the, next the, next the next day. Yeah. Ay, sa akin iba din. Um, it's, it's the tatay. Uh, your dad is more accepting. Yes. Wow. It's just, oh. Yeah. Kasi nung, maybe it's just because my mom is a strong woman kasi at the same time kasi nakikita niya din kasi sa, ayaw niya nasaktan yung anak niya. Sino pa naman magulang nakikita niya nasaktan yung anak niya. But then the other the understanding of my dad is different. Kasi siya naman kasi sabi niya, nakikita ko tong batang to na lalaban siya uh, on his life to become yeah. her life. Mm -hmm. What you want yeah. to do. So, yun yung nakikita ni tatay. Actually, I asked my tatay about that during that time. Like, oh, why you didn't even like, you know, like, uh, like napagalitan or whatever. Sabi niya, because I seen you as a strong man and or a strong woman. Nah, hindi ka tulad ng mga kapatid mo. I think what your father meant is like, yeah. oh, is you're a strong person. Yeah, strong. It, does, it doesn't strong matter person, if you're yeah. a man yeah. or a woman. Yeah. What 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 he knows it is See, you're a strong person. Sinani kasi like she said a lot of things to me that I don't want you to become like this. But then at the end of that, like yun nga sabi ko nga sinabi niya naman sa akin the reason why kung bakit hindi kita pinapayagan because I'm so scared or I'm yeah. scared na makita ka na nabubuli ka ng mga tao right. ay sino bang magulang ang masutuwa yeah, yeah, na ganyan yung nakikita niya ka and, and I just want to commend them both because yeah. I'm just coming out here and, and talking about all of this mm -hmm. very personal yeah. this is yeah this is very personal this is yeah. you guys are really brave yeah nice. you guys are really brave mm -hmm. claiming that space and saying you know I am a woman, a woman too yeah. Yeah. like I am a woman yeah. and this is what I want to be yeah and yeah so again going back to that question because you know like we talk about your struggles in the Philippines and mm -hmm. you know but coming here to Canada wherein it's more accepted yeah. you know it's more prevalent uh, did you ever had any discrimination as a transgender woman? Not uh, more of a discrimination. Parang um, minsan na uh, may misgender ako. Not of other people, but um, of my own relatives. Eto gusto gusto ko tong tanong yun, yeah. kasi paano pagka inadres ka sa pronoun na hindi mo gusto? Limbawa, tinawag kang sir. Or he, ano ba ang preference mo pagdating sa pronouns? Of course, yung uh, pronouns ko is ah. Uh, she, her, yeah. right. uh, especially she undergo to. She underwent, yes. Yeah, so so clearly, she's already she. Yes, because yeah. si Tatiana, as far as I can remember, there was an incident na natawag kang sir, or. Hindi siya natawag na sir. It's just only. Nagpunta ka sa washroom. Can you please tell us? Magaling. Everything is. Ibu ni bakit na sa ganito yung yung yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. So hindi naman. Uh, more about this game. Parang yun, yun nga, yung no, yun misgender ako mis -gender, mis with my own relatives, not of other people. Kasi they were uh, used to uh, parang me as a male, as a boy. Yes. Kasi ginalakihan nila na yeah. lalaki nga ako. So, Inahayaan mo ba? Or in-stop mo ba sila? Or like, uh, how do you respond? Yun nga, minsan na ano niya ako na natatawag niya ako na yung dead name ko. Tapos, Yung him. Uh -oh. uh -oh. yeah. Masake? Of course, masake. Of course, masake. Because I'm not going to do it. You know, actually, let me just go back. So, you're Mandy. 
Maraming beses. <laughs> <laughs> Nakalit lipstick pero, sir? <laughs> Kanina sa Tim Hortons. <laughs> Bago magsimula yung taking namin, I went to Tim Hortons. Sarado yung panlalaki kasi sira yung panlalaki ng washroom. Ah. So pang babae lang yung buka kasi kailangan ng susi. So pumunta ako sa front counter. Sabi ko, can I please borrow the key? Sabi nung staff doon, pwede nyo pong gamitin yung pang babae. Yeah. So, akala niya lalaki ako. Bakit ba yung drive-thru ka? Anong boses kayo gamit mo? Bakit ba mag-order mo? Pag mag-order ako, ano, misa nasasapian ako. Depende kasi. Pero yeah, going back to the question, masakit ba sa mo? Okay, so syempre, uh, nasasakpan ako kasi parang... Paano? Na... Ay... <laughs> sakit? Sabi, sakit? Okay. Pakita mo nga sa camera, paano yung sakit? <laughs> Ganyan yung sakit. Ay, sakit nga. Ah, sige. Maranagdaman <laughs> mo yung sakit uh, more uh, internally kasi parang... Yeah, yeah, sabi nga, it's rather for you to hurt physically better than emotionally. Right. Kasi of the, course. the pain of the physical can be removed. Mm-hmm. Or yeah, like yeah. The, the physical pain, it heals. Yeah. You know, the wound heals, but the emotional pain, yeah. it takes time. Like, it takes yeah. so much time and right. well, to heal. It's gonna be part of your end and then. Yeah. Life. Yo, Tati, do you have any uh, story of discrimination? Actually, yung ngayon, nakakapagtaka here in Canada. Eh. Kung sino pa yung Pilipina, siya sila pa yung, right. sila pa yung mas prone sa mga ganyang mga bagay. I went to the washroom, which is, I know that I should, uh, if I'm in a, in, in a Filipino store, Mm-hmm. I usually go to the PWD washroom. Yeah. Kasi personality yeah. washroom. Yeah. Dito sa Canada, uh-huh. saan ka madalas pumupunta? Pag sa Pilipinas, I usually PWD. go to the PWD para wala nang issue. Right. Yeah. Pa- so, so any, anybody mm-hmm. can, can go yeah. in the so, person with disabilities bathroom. Yeah, and then during that time to say it was like the the lock is not working. So I went to the, the of course the next options that I can use is just only to go to the women's washroom. And during that time the woman's washroom is literally so gross. Yeah. And of course, like a concerned citizen, you need to tell to the custodian or to, to the the staff, whoever the staff, like, yeah. who's cleaning those things. So during right. that time, there's a person who's cleaning them. So I went out and tell him that uh, I'm so ano pa nga, I'm so polite. Pa nga to. Yeah. I was like, hey, Kuya, uh, uh, just to let you know that the woman's washroom is not really good. Mm-hmm. And then the response is not... Like, you know, I was not expecting the response at all. Mm. Sabi niya, well, you, he, well, he said in Tagalog, na sabi niya, hindi ka naman dapat doon ipo wash So I was like, what? Mm. So at first, na surprise ako. I, I thought he was just only joking. Yeah. Kasi yan, syempre, like, you know, being a trans woman, like, being a gay, like, it, it's always like, they thought, like, you are, like, making fun out of it. Pero yeah. I, re- I, I asked him again, sabi ko, no, madumi lang po kasi yung CR ng washroom ng babae. Mm. Di ba kasabi ko nga sa'yo, hindi, ma, hindi ka dapat doon ang washroom. Dapat yeah. sa lalaki ka ang washroom. Yeah. Mm. So, when I see his reactions and his, his <coughs> response to me, sabi ko, sige si Kuya. So, of course, your emotions will go up high. Nasasabi, bigla ka na lang like, yeah. So, you're telling me that I am a man. Yeah. Mm. Sabi niya, oh, hindi ko sinabi yan. Yeah. Pero you want me to use the, the men's washroom. Sabi niya, uh, hindi ako nagsabi na. Parang nag, nagpitrosokohan pa kami. And then I seen the crowd. And I know that this has always been an issue in the Philippines. And I don't want to make that happen. You need to speak up. Yes, yes. But then I choose to to stop. And then I talked to the assistant assistant store manager during the time. Because he came over mm-hmm. and talked to us. And he stopped us. And I just like literally tell him that, okay, pakisabihan niyo na lang po yung staff niyo. That they really need to understand kung sino talaga ah, kung yeah. ano talaga dapat ang gagamitin na right words for us. Yeah. So, with that said, umalis na lang din ako and then I asked my friend to go to leave kasi alam mo yung nakikita ka pa ng tao lalo ka lang na lalo ka pang na nag-weaker. Mas masasaktan ka pa lalo kasi napahiya ka na eh. Okay. So, There's so many levels ng like, and, and it's so dis- no 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 discrimination it's so disheartening mm-hmm. that it still happens especially within our community we, we, we have to face that fact yeah so we we're having these conversations about LGBT in the Filipino mm-hmm. Canadian setting you know? mm-hmm. and even in Canada right this is happening mm-hmm. and you know it, it could be a lot of factors and yeah. having this so but I just want to change the topic a little bit mm-hmm. um, because uh, I know like uh, Diamond is a uh, first runner up for Miss. Yes. Uh, so I, I really want to talk about I know pageant. 
is that okay? Yeah. Let me do it that way because like you know, like a lot of a lot of trans women are are very like involved in beauty pageants. Yes. Right. And there's this big fascination about beauty pageant. Yeah. What, why do you think is that? Bakit kaya we're so involved? Like uh, yeah. trans women are so involved in uh, beauty pageants. In pageantries, yeah. Yeah. Well, pageantries. Um. Um. Well, by being honest, parang it is a way na parang pwede mong mabalite yung sarili mo. It's the validation. As a woman, like oh, I'm pretty, I'm brainy, I can win anything. Okay. Yan yung talaga yung realidad na ng beauty pageant eh. Kaya so masali yung iba. Right. Paano ka naganda? Paano ako naganda? Um, May it started with me. Yeah. Uh, so, I don't So, I saw it during our Christmas party in Max's restaurant. Mm -hmm. And I said, why don't you want to join the pageant and I can handle you. Yeah. I'm a grad and I'm not a graduate. Na. I can still join. I still want to join. And during that time, kasi, I, I am prepared for everything. Like, you know, like, I have the gowns, I have the Fresh, you have all the so Wait, for you, for you, not for, for her. Yeah, yeah, for her. Because mm -hmm. the problem is that why I don't have interest in it. It's limited. Kasi limited your resources. Ko, tsaka, I don't know how the pageant works here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I need someone to mentor me yeah. to make myself better. There are many Caucasian friends and they're very fascinated that why Filipinos are right. into very, into, very into pageantry, yeah. especially trans women. Because here in Canada, it's not so big, you know right. what I mean, mm -hmm. as compared to Thailand, Philippines. Yeah. Yeah. But what they don't realize is this is how you claim your womanhood. Yeah. I remember uh, one Miss Universe, the question was, what is the essence? Of I was being, gonna ask. Right? Yeah, was <laughs> gonna some, ask. Uh, what is the essence of being, of being a woman? A woman? Mm -hmm. And then let me just like go back to the answer. If you guys remember the answer, I didn't answer any. Si Charlene Bayon. Ah uh, no, it's no? Miss International. Miss India, I think no, she, she, yeah, Miss 1994. She yeah, in India. Yeah, but it was she a long time ago, and the answer was. Um, the essence of being a woman is to bear a child and right. raise a family. Okay. So I that like, see, Miss International, they said it was the same question. Oh, so now that you know the perception of womanhood is is more broad, the spectrum is more broad. Yeah. I want you to answer that question okay. as as a woman, as a woman yourself. What is the essence of being a woman? Um, I'd answer it as uh, being a trans woman. Um, I've been discriminated. Of, uh, because people did not desire and what's between my legs, I've been rejected because um, I cannot bear a child. And I believe um, the, the true essence of being a woman is how you celebrate and your your you, in how, how you portray your womanhood to its fullest. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so you did us a good more. <laughs> celebrating yourself. Celebrating I think that's an that's yeah. that's important yeah. point. Uh, celebrating your womanhood yeah. and celebrating yourself. Yeah, yeah. Like, I say, uh, like, definitely during the time that because when they ask that question to Miss Intern, uh, Miss who, whoever it is, just Miss. Totoo, 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 Yung iba choice nila. No, yung iba hindi. Mm. Yung iba hindi. 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 Exactly. Because I chose my yes. Exactly. And other people, they choose not to bear a child just because they don't want to be selfish. Mm. They're yeah. not ready. They're not prepared to bear a child. I am not uh, financially ready, like what uh, Mandy was saying. I'm not emotionally ready. I'm not physically ready to bear a child. But that doesn't mean I'm not I'm not a woman. Yes. That's my choice. Okay. So, Pero to answer the questions in and what's the essence of being a woman? I am the person kasi that I always care and everyone knows that. And you know, you don't have to you don't have to have this surgeries and you don't have to have this 
you know, like mga mga bagay na kinakailangan ng inumin ni Nebo for you to become a woman. But then, technically, as long as you have this heart and you have this love and care for others, as a woman, mm-hmm. like definitely you are a woman. Definitely, yes. you are like you know, you're like you have the essence of the woman. Ah. I want to end the conversation by bye-bye po ako dahil dahil I portray myself as a woman I feel like a woman my heart is of a woman so I am a woman yeah, yeah. yeah. and how about you Tatiana bye-bye po ako dahil kaya kong ibigay ang pagmamahal ng isang tunay na babae ah. Once again, thank you very much. That's a wrap. That's a wrap for episode. Oh, wait, no, now I'm gonna ask them our magic. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah, bye bye. Oh, oh my God, I'm so sorry. No, I'm so no. sorry. Bye bye po ako dahil bye bye po ako kahit bosses talaga ako. Pero honestly, bye bye po ako kasi ito yung nararamdaman ko. Hindi ko kailangan ng validate validation ng ibang tao dahil alam ko sa sarili ko na bye bye ako. Bye bye po ako. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have anything to share to our viewers? Think about my uh, company. No, oh, ano gusto mo share? Chevron, the Miss CEO. Obviously, ano gusto nyo share? So yun nga. Just I just recently started this company, like the name, uh, name the Fragrance Valley. I have the house creation series, Lake of Snow, Mountain Valley, and Rachel Valley. Uh, wellness series is lavender, peppermint, and white tea and ginger. Nature series is fresh bamboo and Morgan oil. This is a 30 ml product. Range price is from 17 to 20 dollars. You can see I have a new box here. I have two size of boxes. I have the three pack and then the five packs of boxes. So for every three pack na binibili nyo, it will go down to 17 dollars each. Any of your choice. Mm-hmm. Pag naman naging five yung binili mo, it will all go down to the price of like 16 dollars each. So pag kumuha ka ng five. And then yes, I do have diffusers. Thank Yay, you. Thanks, thanks so, Adi. Thank you so, yeah, so that's a wrap for episode two. Oh, the winning, I know the winning team. Oh my God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for having me, like for coming. Okay. That was a very interesting conversation. Ano yung pakiramdam mo, Paolo and Liz, after yung marinig sa kanila na ang pamantay ng pagiging babae ay hindi naman biologically, kundi meron sila kanilang definition. Yeah. What do you, what do you think, Liz? Ikaw muna, muna. Um, I, I feel... So much more respect to these yeah. uh, trans women. So that you will No, uh, so much more. I, I have so much more respect. Kung dati, kung dati 100 ngayon is 1,000 uh, percent. Because you know, um, as a human, we are. It's our nature to judge, mm. right? But once you get to know this person, especially the ones that we we've, we've guested kanina. Um, you get to know them, you get to know their story, you get to know the backstory, then you will gain more respect. So my takeaway really is, um, get to know these people. Yeah. Instead of, of looking at them like a comic and not taking them seriously, who knows that person is actually a CEO of a company? Like that, diba? that like is that, a CEO exactly. of so, uh, That's exactly what I'm saying. So um, I've, gained, I've gained so much more respect and I, I truly believe that um, uh, An essence of a woman is not only just to bear a child. Uh, bearing a child is actually now a choice. It's it's not it's not a proof of being a woman. Womanhood. Yes. Womanhood. How about you, Mandy? What do you think? Para sa akin, napaganda at napakespecial ng episode natin kanina as a trans woman. Woman yourself. Yes, as a trans woman myself. Being a trans woman is not actually an experiment. It is a reality. Araw-araw nakikita natin kahit anong industriya, kahit saan, kahit sa anong aspeto, meron at meron na bahagi ng LGBTQ na nandiyan para sa atin, nagbibigay ng saya, nagbibigay ng serbisyo. Kaya para sa akin, hindi mahalaga kung, kung palagay mo ba babae ka o hindi. Ang mahalaga kasi, ang pagiging babae sa sarili nagsisimula yan. This year, the uh, theme for uh, International Women's Month is uh, break the bias. Right. That, 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 is, that is the theme oh, that's, that's uh, right. of, of this year's uh, International Women's uh, Month. And t- today with our episode, we broke a lot of bias. Yes. We, we did. We did. And, and I'm really proud of this episode because we did break a lot of biases. Right. Especially on trans women. Mm-hmm. Kasi, 
the definition, I remember like the opening when Mandy said, ano ba talaga yung pamantayan ng pagiging babae? Right. Mm-hmm. You no, know, the answer to me, like, I'm not a woman, so it's hard for me to answer. Right. But after our conversations today, I realized there's none. It's, it's there's, there, I mean, there's none in a sense na there's a broad spectrum of definition of being a woman. Mm-hmm. Napaka, for 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 somebody motherhood who's not, is very limiting. Correct. Motherhood is just one um, aspect of being a woman. Right. There's so many aspects. A woman comes in so many shapes, sizes, um, appearance, color, right. and that for me is very educational. The whole conversations today is a uh, very educational thing. So you are. Yeah. Okay. Congratulations, Congratulations Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so much for showing up today. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for showing up on our show. But yeah, like, Thank, Thank you. you so much, Pao. Thank you for welcome. this episode. You're welcome. Marami pa tayong abangan sa mga susunod na episodes. Yes. Uh, so we're going to be having um, another episode. So we're looking forward to episode three, Liz. It's going to be a fun one. We're, all, we're going to talk about all about our firsts. Um, anything and uh, everything that you can think of, uh, it's gonna be, first. it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. Everything about the first. Be See the, you on the next one. See you on See the you. next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.